Hello, this is Dr. Aragon again from GlaucomaEyeInfo.com and today I'm going to talk about why your eye doctor dilates your pupils. Now this is a common thing that happens during uh, an eye exam and many people find it to be somewhat of a nuisance because they, you know, when they leave, the pupils are still dilated and they're, you know, have sensitivity to light and they can't read very well and, and things like that. So why are we doing it? Uh, why is it so important? Simply stated, widening or dilating uh, a patient's pupils increases the angle of observation inside the eye. And you can see this from the diagram that I'm presenting. In other words, by dilating your pupils, I'm able to see more inside your eye and examine more structures in there than I normally would be able to do with your pupil in its regular state. Now, once I've administered uh, eye drops for pupil dilation, I examine your optic nerve, which is in the back of your eye, and the optic nerve is that part of the eye that transmits uh, nerve signals from the retina to the brain so that we interpret images. That's how we see. So I examine the health of your optic nerve and then also the blood vessels in the surrounding area that's called the retina. And uh, specifically I look for changes in the optic nerve that could be an indication of glaucoma or other uh, problems. Uh, such as macular degeneration, which occurs in the retina. I also evaluate the quality of the blood vessels, uh, including the way that they cross each other. Changes in the optic nerve, the retina, and blood vessels from one eye examination to the next could be a sign that you are developing an eye disease. And we need to catch that as quickly as possible. Most eye diseases are treatable, but if we can't catch them early, it becomes much more difficult to treat them. So we want to try to get them quick. Now, because the eye is such a sensitive structure, it often shows early signs of other disease uh, conditions as well, such as high blood pressure. Uh, the medical term for this is hypertension, uh, diabetes, uh, and elevated cholesterol. Uh, the medical term for this being hypercholesterolemia. However, there are certain conditions for which dilating your pupil is not recommended. And foremost among these is a condition called primary angle closure glaucoma. Now, this is a particular type of glaucoma that is not the most frequent type, but it, but it is one that occurs in which the angle that forms between the iris and the cornea inside the eye, kind of like this, becomes progressively narrow. And this blocks the flow of fluid inside the eye, which creates elevated pressure inside the eye and can uh, destroy uh, the optic nerve. Well, if we dilate the pupil, what we're doing is we're pushing the iris outward uh, in order for the dilation to happen, and this can close the angle. Now, unless there is an emergency that requires immediate attention, such as an eye trauma, we prefer to perform a peripheral iridectomy. Now, this is a surgery uh, that is used with a laser. It, it's done very quickly, and it creates an alternate channel for this fluid uh, to exit, and we do this in, in patients that already have these narrow angles. Now, following an eye examination, your pupil typically will remain uh, dilated for around three to four hours, and during this time, you might have blurry vision, especially if you're trying to do up-close reading, and you'll have some sensitivity to light. And for this reason, I always recommend that my patients bring uh, sunglasses with them so that they, you know, they're not bothered by uh, light outside once they leave the office. 
we have some disposable sunglasses that we provide to, to patients that have forgotten to bring their own. But these re resemble those 3D glasses that they give you inside the movie theater. Uh, so they're not particularly uh, a fashionable choice. Under no circumstances should you attempt to drive a car after an eye examination in which your pupils have been dilated. If public transportation is unavailable to you, or if you choose not to use it, I recommend that you arrange to have someone uh, drive you uh, to, to your eye exam and wait for you, or at least to come and pick you up uh, when it's finished. Also, if you plan to return to work after the examination, uh, which I also don't really recommend, uh, please, please, you should not under any circumstances operate machinery or any other type of work that requires, uh, you know, precise uh, vision because you're not going to have it. So uh, that kind of wraps it up about pupil dilation. The reason that we do it is so that we can examine the inside of your eye to determine if you have eye disease or there's something else wrong in there. And when you're going for an eye examination, it's a good idea to bring sunglasses with you afterwards, and it's also a good idea to have someone drive you to the eye exam and wait for you, or to, or to wait, come and pick you up when it's over. So for more information about um, eye conditions, eye health, uh, please go to glaucomaeyeinfo.com where there's a wealth of information uh, about many things uh, related to the eye. Thank you very much.